Hello everybody, my name is Blown Tire, otherwise known as Will, and today I'm bringing you some Battlefield 3, I'm bringing you some Rush gameplay on the map Operation Metro, and today I'm just going to be breaking down, analysing the game in general, saying what I did well, what I did bad, and how you guys can learn certain tactics, certain methods, and ways of playing the map. So to start off, this is going to be the first and second base. The third and fourth base are going to be uploaded a bit later. Um, I am playing with three of my platoon members. I'm playing with Gazi250, Xantia10, who is a very good player, is the found founder of the 56th platoon, and Danny Dude, who is also a very good heli pilot. Very, very good players in their own right. So these are going to be the first and second bases. So to start off, before anything else happens, you need to pick out what class you're going to be using, what class you think is going to be much more beneficial for the certain situation. As you can see here, I'm using the L86, and I'm sorting out my classes. Um, I'm running with the ACOG, the foregrip and the flash suppressor. It's not my usual setup. I mean, I usually run a holographic, but since obviously it's the first base, it's a bit more longer range than the metro areas. So I've just eliminated that guy there and I'm pushing up right to the AM com, making sure it's clear. Always crouch when you go to the AM com because there could be snipers on the ridge from over there. Fine, get beyond these concrete blocks here, it's quite secure, people can't fire through them, and then just try and eliminate hostiles that come, that try and come over the bridge. Um, if they come right near to the MCOM, it's going to be a really difficult clusterfuck situation. Um, there will be enemies really close to you, which means that you've got to be quite good with your sidearm as well, because you could easily run out of ammo in your primary. So as you can see, the MCOM's been destroyed, and I've just got revived. So... We're literally now just pushing up to the end of the first base, waiting for the ability to move on to the second base. Um, coming up here is, uh, you need to think about what where you're going to be running down the... which passage you're going to be running down. Each have pros and cons, and you need to discuss that with your squad prior to actually doing this, because that could be the reason if you can actually get the MCOM or not. Luckily I usually push down this area here and I just try to stick to the right hand side because that's not near enough the most direct way to be. I like attacking B first. Um, if you're playing um, recon, aggressive recon for example, placing a spawn beacon inside one of these two buildings is quite useful. Um, you can push right up so now, just looking around, eliminating that hostile there. Headshot, not bad. But this is where the ACOG site doesn't come into its own. It's too close quarters for the ACOG site. So when I'm in B again, and I'm pushing up into a fa into a little spot I like using it. It's just lying down, and you can prone. You can see the MCOM, but they can't really see you. But you need to be wary that people behind you may come and take you out, such as these three people I was outgunned then I was even if I managed to take out that guy that I only got to 25% health I would have probably been killed by those two other people so now our squad was wiped so we're having to go right back from the deployment that's where having sort of a aggressive recon may help to push into that area so now I'm switching to the RPK-74 and this is my most reliable light machine gun. It's a magazine fed light machine gun so it has a bit more mobility, a bit more... Um, it has a better advantage in close quarters combat. So now I was just lucky, really lucky there to win that gunfight. I'm low on health, I'm 20%, now 1% health. This isn't, this isn't a good tactic, trying to follow an enemy, especially on low health. Because now I've got my, I mean, I have my back to the enemy, and now I'm down. He shot me in beyond with a magnum. It didn't matter what pistol he was going to use; it was going to cause it was going to cause me to die because of the low health. Luckily, I managed to get revived. Make sure that you can get into some cover after you've been revived, so you can reload any of your weapons, and just make sure you're all familiar with your surroundings again. So now I'm pushing up, trying to defend the AMCOM now. Just I like pushing up quite close to this 
A. Obviously A is just blown up, but B is disarmed, which means can't move up. So we're just trying to hold a spot, put an ammo pad down. You can get quite a lot of points with ammo. As you can see, I've already got 30 points within the first 5 seconds of just chucking it down. So I'm clearing out this area, and again I'll get tucked down. That is very bad aim. And obviously with bad aim, you get bad scores. And even though I don't get a good KD in this game, it's, it's a game which you can see some tactics and learn from. Um, as you can see, I spawned on Gazi here. This is a great spot if you almost secured the MCOM. You can hold that area quite well. As you can see, I've just used the crossbow there. If you can utilise... When the support, you don't always have to use explosives. Um, such as the C4. C4, you need to get quite close to them. The claymores are okay if you're just trying to defend an MCOM. Obviously, in the metro area, mortars are absolutely useless and can't be selected. So, as this, the first and second base is coming to the end, I would like to say thank you for watching, guys. If you've liked what you've seen, leave a comment down below. That would be absolutely fantastic. If you've liked it as well, give it a thumbs up. And as I just take the tags of that bitch, let's do this. And we're moving up to the third and fourth MCOM. So, thank you very so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.